Hi everyone, Gary Elysium's back again. This is part nine of my complete CD collection series. Now, if you haven't seen any other parts or want to see some more of my videos, please go hit that subscribe button so you can get up to date every time I post a video, including the rest of this collection and anything else, my album's ranking, whatever. Okay, so last video, we left off in the S's uh, midway through. We ended with Soundgarden. So we're gonna jump right back in into the S's. Uh, here we have Space Hog. This is Resident Alien from the 1995 album. Spin Doctors, Pocket Full of Kryptonite. The real Black Album, the, the uh, Spinal Tap soundtrack. Then we have the follow-up from Spinal Tap, Break Like the Wind. And then here we're gonna get into uh, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor this time because uh, my shelf goes all the way down to the floor and uh, we're getting close to the end here. So this is debut album, Greetings from Asbury Park, New Jersey. The Wild, The Innocent, The East Street Shuffle. His masterpiece, Born to Run. Darkness on the Edge of Town. The Double Disc, The River. Then we have Nebraska. Nebraska was kind of recorded, uh, not kind of, but it was recorded on a four track, just uh, Bruce and his acoustic guitar. Born in the USA. Tunnel of Love. Ghost of Tom Jude. And The Rising. And that, that, that ends up with, uh, what wraps up my Bruce Springsteen section. Here we have Sponge with Rotting Pinata. Another one of the 90s uh, alternative bands. Kind of got a, kind of like a one hit wonder. Billy Squire, great album, Don't Say No. Then I have this, um, this just cheap 10 best 10 series. Uh, the best of Billy Squire. You got it like, I don't know if someone gave it to me or I got it for really cheap. Uh, Stabbing Westford, Darkest Days, Stained, Dysfunction. You got a lot of new metal here. Stained, Break the Cycle. 14 Shades of Grey and Stained Chapter 5. Then we have the only one I own by Ringo Starr as a solo artist. This is one just called Ringo. Uh, the original version didn't feature some of the tracks like It Don't Come Easy and uh, there's some other uh, early 1970s track and Down and Out, but this CD version does. And one of my favorite solo Beatles songs of all time, It Don't Come Easy. Such a great song. Alright, getting some more... Uh more new metal here static x this is machine then this is a compilation from static x called beneath between beyond here we have steely dan can't buy a thrill a decade of steely dan steely dan alive in america that's from the 1994 tour I'm, I'm sorry 1995 i believe it was 95 not 94 steppenwolf their debut album born to be wild 16 greatest hits Cat Stevens, T for the Tillerman. Rod Stewart, Singing Again Rod. Basically just a bunch of covers. And uh, basically a compilation, a bunch of covers and some stuff that he released already early in his career was reissued. Uh, this is Downtown Train, Selections from the Storyteller Anthology. And this is Stewart Unplugged and more with Ron Wood. All right, now we're getting into the Stone Roses, their debut album. Stone Temple Pilots debut album, Core. This is Purple. Tiny Music, Gifts from the Vatican Gift Shop. Number four. And then we have uh, Shangri La Di Da. And that was the last album that, you know, Stone Temple Pilots would put out before. I believe they broke up. And uh, I don't remember offhand if they broke up or the problems with Scott Weiland made them uh, go and hide this for a while. Uh, but they did come back with Scott. Um, but before that, they released this compilation, uh, Best Of, called Thank You. And it features a new track, All In The Suit That You Wear, which was a hit at the time when it came out, I believe, in 2004. A uh, really good song. Uh, but here's the uh, self-titled last album they would do with Scott Weiland when he would come back into the band, just called Stone Temple Pilots. Of course, they would do stuff with uh, Chester Bennington and uh, the, the guy now, I, I can't remember his name, the new singer they have now. He's you know, doing a good job. He's not Scott Weiland, but whatever. Here we have S.O.D., Stormtroopers of Death, Speak English or Die. This is a uh, Mega Force Records. I believe this is like a, I'm going to say 15th anniversary, released in 99. I believe this is like the 15th anniversary edition. The Stooges, their debut album. All these albums are great from The Stooges. The Follow-Up Funhouse, and this is Raw Power. It was uh, listed under Iggy and The Stooges. 
And then we have from Guns N' Roses, this is Izzy, Izzy Stradlin uh, and the Juju Hounds. This one is called, well, it's just self-titled. I thought I had a link to it. I haven't listened to that in some, quite some time, but it is decent. I do like Izzy a lot. One of my favorite members from Guns N' Roses, great guitarist, very underrated. The Strokes, Is This It? This was a huge album when it first came out, early 2000s. Sticks, The Grand Illusion, Pieces of Eight, Paradise Theater, and Sticks Greatest Hits. And we have some Sublime, their debut album, 40 Ounce of Freedom, Robin the Hood, and their massive uh, self titled album, just called Sublime. That album always reminds me of summer. And Suicidal Tendencies, How I Laugh Tomorrow When I Can't Even Smile Today. And then this is the greatest hits from uh, Suicide Tendencies Prime Cuts. I mean, not that they have kids, hits, but uh, kind of a compilation of their best songs, I'd say. Here we have, uh, this is Sunny Day Real Estate, The Diary. Really cool uh, band, kind of like an alternative rock band that came out of Seattle. Uh, but not in the vein as, you know, a lot of those alternative one-hit one. There's more of a grungy sound to them. Uh, great, great album, Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. Uh, great proggy album. I love Super Tramp at this point, uh, before they got really poppy. Another Super Tramp, even in the quietest moments. Breakfast in America. And we have The Best of Sweet. System of a Down with their debut album. Their amazing follow up, Toxicity. This one is Steal This Album. Uh, different disc there than the um, standard white one which stayed at Steel This Album on it. This is uh, Mesmerize and the last one, Hypnotize. They're the two last albums you put out by System and hopefully we see some new music for them very soon. I know they released one song uh, a couple months back. All right, now we're getting the tease. Tad with Inhaler, great, great grunge album. One of the milestones of grunge. Talking Heads, Remain in Light. Uh, great live album from Talking Heads. This is the soundtrack from the film Stop Making Sense. This is the, the uh, remastered edition, which features almost every track from the movie. And here we have Tantric with their self titled debut. Tantric was a cool, uh, I kind of want to say they were in the new metal vein, but more um, alternative rock, but they were heavier. It's kind of hard to describe, but decent album. They were great, great acoustic guitar work. Uh, another new metal album, this is Taproot with Gift. And we have James Tower, excuse me, James Taylor's Greatest Hits. Tears for Fears, this one's called uh, Tears Roll Down. The greatest Hits from 87 to 90, 82 to 92, excuse me. Uh, speaking of grunge, another amazing album, Masterpiece of Grunge, Temple of the Dog. Obviously, um, what would become would be Pearl Jam without Eddie Vedder and Chris Cornell on vocals. Here we have Tenacious D, their self-titled album. Tesla. Mechanical Resonance, Tesla, The Great Radio Controversy, Five Man Acoustical Jam, recorded in my hometown of Philadelphia at the Tower Theater. This one's called Times Making Changes, The Best of Tesla. Then we have some great thrash here, Testament, The New Order, and in here, Practice What You Preach. Great, great band. I don't have a lot by Testament. I only have four albums. Uh, the Formation of Damnation, a great, great comeback. And this one, Dark Roots of Earth. This was the follow-up, I believe. And it probably wasn't. Uh, but it's very, I don't know, I don't, I'm not positive. There's a four-year gap in here, so I'm not positive that that was the follow-up. They sound very similar. Great, great sound. All right, now we're getting to Thin Lizzy. I'm a big Thin Lizzy fan. So we have their debut album, which is simply called Thin Lizzy. Shades of a Blue Orphanage. Vagabonds of the Western World, Nightlife, Fighting, Jailbreak, Johnny the Fox, Bad Reputation, Live and Dangerous, Black Rose, Chinatown, Renegade, got a great heavy album, Thunder and Lightning, last studio album Thin Lizzy would put out, and this is the, uh, this is called Life, it's a live album, double disc, uh, came in one of them thick boxes, but I broke it down into one case, uh, you know, these cases where you flip them over, just to save room, basically, 
and this is still dangerous live at the tower theater another um in my hometown philadelphia pa all right here we got a uh, third eye blind their third debut album and 38 specials debut album the follow-up special forces uh, i'm sorry special delivery and then this is uh rocking into the night these are kind of cool they're uh kind of like those Ding king diamond and merciful fate releases they're kind of um vinyl replicas on the cd all right, still going with the tees here. Uh, still a 38 special. This is flashback. This is something I picked up cheap. It's basically like a greatest hits, and this is uh, the first greatest hits I bought from uh, 38 special for any of their studio albums. This is the very best of the AM years, 1977 to 1988. So if you wanted to get get in the 38 special, this is the album I would go with. Really great album. Has all the greatest hits on there, and some great tracks. Uh, only thing I own by George Thurgood and Destroyers. This is uh, what's this one called? The baddest of George Thurgood and Destroyers. Obviously, it's a greatest hits. 311, their self-titled album. From Chaos. Then we have greatest hits, 93 to 03. And then rounded out, another 90s uh, one-hit wonder band, kind of. Well, Walk on the Ocean. All I want are two hits off of here. There's the old wall sticker. Toad the Wet Sprocket. This one's called Fear. And I've got... A little uh streak here in 90s one hit wonder bands greatest is a great album though toadies rubberneck tonic lemon parade we have tool with their debut ep opiate first uh studio album undertow enema lateralis and Ten Thousand days uh the newest one i think it's called like fear inoculum i did not like that at all and i'm not a big fan of this album either uh, there's a couple songs off here I like, but to listen all the way through, I, I get kind of bored. All right, we have Toto. Uh, this is Past, Present, and Future. Past to Present, I'm sorry, 1977 to 1990. Pete Townsend, his solo album, Empty Glass, features the hit, The My Love Open the Door. And we got some more. Traffic, their self-titled album. Traffic, John Bobby Core Must Die. Welcome to the Canteen. This is um, a live album from Traffic. And here we have Trapeze, Medusa, uh, with Glenn Hughes on vocals and bass. Uh, Dave Holland, the Jewish Priest on drums. Great, great early uh, British hard rock band bordering on metal. Pat Travers Band, great live album. This is called Live, uh, Go For What You Know. Great, great album. Traveling Woolberries Volume 1 and Traveling Woolberries Volume 3. For those that don't know, uh, the Wilbury signed a three album contract with um, um, Warner Brother Records at the time, but shortly after this first album was recorded and released, Roy Orbison, who was one of the Wilburys, passed away, and they didn't want to you know, continue without him, but to fulfill their uh, agreement, you know, tongue in cheek, they called this one volume three to say, hey, <laughs> you know, that's the third album. So it's really only two albums they released. And anyway, here we go. We have Trivium. This is the Crusade. Oh, here we have Triumph, Allied Forces, T Rex, Electric Warrior, Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry. Great album. This is Twisted Sister, Big Hits and Nasty Cuts. Typo Negative, Bloody Kisses. Another amazing album, as is this one. October Rust. And one more for the T's end up, and it's uh, Typo Negative. Life is killing me. Okay, let's go move you over a little bit as we get into the O's. Sorry about that. I'm trying to work my best being I'm on the ground. The O's, I think I said we're getting into the U's, not the O's. UFO phenomenon. UFO lights out. Obsession. And of course, the amazing live album, Strangers in the Night. And this is another live album, Live at Rock Palace. Uh, this comes with a DVD from November 29th, 1980. Unfortunately, Michael Schenker does not play on this at this time. Uh, I, it was kind of a, a grab. I, I saw it real quick, and then I realized afterwards, I'm like, ah, Schenker's not on this. Either way, it's still a great album. Live CD and DVD combo. Uriah Heep, Demons and Wizards, one of the first hard rock bands. The Magician's Birthday by Uriah Heep. A uh, great, great prog album by Utopia. This one's called Todd Rundgren's Utopia. Obviously, it was fronted by Todd Rundgren. And we got some U2 
to end the use. Their debut album, Boy, War, The Unforgettable Fire, Joshua Tree, Ride on Hum, Aptong Baby, Zuropa. This is uh, the best of 1980 to 1990 and also has the B-sides double disc there. B-sides is really what sold me on that. All That You Can't Leave Behind and finally How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb. Alright, we're going to roll right along into the V's, into the Vans. Before we get the Van Halen, we have Van der Graaff Generator. This is God Bluff. Amazing, amazing prog album. Uh, very underrated. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this band, but if you know, you, you either know them and love them or you just don't know them at all, I feel like. I don't think anyone's like, ah, eh, I'm okay, they're all right, but no, nah, you either love them or you don't know them. Anyway, Van Halen, their amazing debut album. My favorite by VH, Van Halen 2. Women and Children First. Fair Warning. Diver Down. 1984. Of course, that would wrap up the debut. Daily Rough Years, and then with Sammy, we have 5150, OU812, Four Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, and their first official live album, uh, Right Here, Right Now, Double Disc. All songs with Sammy Hagar recorded on the Four Unlawful Carnal Knowledge tour. And then the last studio album they would do with Sammy Hagar, Balance. Then we have a Best of Volume 1. This features, uh, was it uh yeah one one new track with sammy hagar or one unreleased track with sammy hagar and two brand new recorded tracks with daily raw and we have van halen three with gary sherrod on vocals uh not a terrible album it's just hard to follow up um amazing entertainer like daily raw with an amazing singer like sammy hagar gary sherrod yeah he's a great singer but i guess he just didn't really you know fit in with van halen but it's not a terrible album and here we have another greatest hits this is called the best of both worlds uh, as the title states, it's got you know the, all the hits with Sammy and with David all in the one, you know, two discs, and this features three new tracks with Sammy Hagar, because Sammy rejoined the band at this point and they went on a you know a tour, and this was the CD they released to uh, tour behind. Then we had their um, return of Daily Roth, different kind of truths to, um, and this is Tokyo Dome bitch in concert, uh, last release, last official release from Van Halen. Featuring Daily Roth on vocals. It's kind of the double disc live CD that came out on a different kind of truth tour. Uh, does not feature Michael Anthony. The last two I showed did not feature Michael Anthony on bass uh, as he was replaced by Wolfgang Van Halen, Eddie's son. All right, continue with the V's. We have an L Fudge, their amazing debut album, one of the best albums to come out of the 60s. Uh, Steve Ray Vaughan, Texas Flood. I don't have Steve Ray Vaughan in my blues section because he's, I feel like he's more poppy. Uh, not fully rock but he's more like pop blues rock couldn't stand the weather soul to soul double trouble alive alive in step sky is crying uh greatest hits live at carnegie hall blues at sunrise this is a cool slow blues album basically a compilation and here we have the Vaughn Brothers, which is Jimmy Vaughn and Steve Ray Vaughn called Family Style. Great album. Eddie Vedder, Into the Wild. Great, great album and movie. Uh, ukulele songs by Eddie Vedder. This one never really grew on me. I feel like it's a little too long. A little too tedious. Uh, wasn't as good as the first album, the Into the Wild soundtrack. All right, to finish up the V's, we have Velvet Revolver, Contraband, The Velvet Underground, and Nico. Velvet Underground with White Light, White Heat. This is the best of Velvet Underground. Words and music of Lou Reed. Then we have Venom, New Wave of British Heavy Metal, Welcome to Hell. Their follow-up, Black Metal. That's where the genre got their name from. Rook Assault, uh, an all-female grunge band. This is called American Thighs. Verve, A Northern Soul. Verve, Urban Hymns. And finally, to wrap up the V's, we have Violet Femmes. This is their uh, actually their debut album, but a deluxe edition. I'm uh, missing a slipcase, but as you can see there, it's two discs. Uh, the second disc is all live recordings. Uh, you have 10 demos added on to the first disc. Uh, the only thing I don't like, it doesn't have the original album cover, but whatever. Overall, it's a really cool collection. So that'll wrap up part nine of my complete CD collection. Uh, when we come back for part 10, we're going to go right into W's. Uh, 
we might even finish it up into disease and then break it down with the other subgenres that aren't included in rock and pop and metal and hard rock and all that stuff anyway thanks for watching uh like i said top of the video if you haven't already please subscribe please support my channel and you'll get all the updates of every video that gets posted uh, again thanks for watching and follow me gary of the elysiums